Good evening, everyone. My name is Quasi Roberts. And I'm Rihanna Abdul Kadir. And we want to thank you guys for joining us in this segment of the environment and us. Today, we are here in front of the Stabrook Market, and we just came off of the salty banks of the Demerara River. And an interesting scenery for us were the mangrove environment. My colleague here, Rihanna, he has a very great interest in mangrove. Nevertheless, we're both going to inform you on the mangrove environment and how they adapt to, to survive. Before we can get into the special adaptations of each of the different types of mangroves, we first have to understand what are mangroves. So Kwesi, what do you think mangroves are? Well, I have heard of the famous phrase that mangroves protect us from the sea. So first I'm going to say that they are the defenders of our coast. However, I understand that they are also tropical plants and they are diverse. Yes, that is indeed true. They are tropical plants and they can be found on much of the world's tropical coasts. Do you know if there are special types of mangroves? Well, I do believe they are diverse. And I heard of one type, the black mangrove. That's correct. However, there are actually two more types. That, those are the red mangroves and the white mangroves. Do you want to know about some of the adaptations? Definitely. The black mangroves, they, they're actually found on open mudflats and they have a high tolerance for salinity. They, since these soils are actually poor in oxygen, have a low oxygen content, they have specialized roots called pneumatophores. And these roots breathe for the plant. They extend vertically and they trap oxygen. The red mangroves, they actually have a high tolerance, unlike the black, they have a high tolerance for salinity. Their leaves are waxy, so as to protect them from the high salt contents. They have aerial roots, and these roots are known as prop roots, or monkey whistles, a thing that I'm sure, pretty sure that's the word. And these monkey whistles, basically, they protect the plants and aid them in their growth in the ever-changing or salty environment. So the red are actually highly specialized for salty environments. They can be found along the riverine or estuarine areas in Guyana. And the white mangroves can be found at the back of the mangrove swamp because they have the least tolerance for salt. Their leaves are actually round at the base and the tips and they're smooth underneath. They actually secrete salt through a process called ultrafiltration. And, and their leaves are leathery and waxy so as to reduce the water loss to the tips of the leaves through evaporation. Also, I think it's a nice definition of the Maya Angelou's still I rise because oh, yeah. <laughs> despite, despite the presence of these harsh conditions, this plant finds a way to cope and even thrive in these environments. Hence, the dense population of these plants on our riverbanks here in Guyana. It is important to note that they protect us from the sea as we famously hear. We must also try to... As much as possible to protect them. Thank you so Thank much, Gracie. So Thank for you guys for listening. Tuning in to the environment and, and us. us. Thank you.